Derek, I always like visit, visiting the Rennish Shore booths at the various trade shows. We're here at Emo 2021. We've got a new product here, haven't we? The NC4 Plus Blue. Tell me a little bit about it, please. That's right. So this is actually the second generation of Rennish Shore's NC4 Plus Blue system. It's been going very well for us since we launched it a couple of years ago, and we've decided to ex we've decided to expand the range, quite literally, actually. So when we started, we just had the 115 and the 145 system, the two compact units that you can see here. We've now added the F230 and the F300, so customers can have a complete range of measurement solutions with their Renishaw non-contact. Okay, I've seen a few lasers in the field, but never mm. a blue one. Why blue? So blue, because of the laws of physics, allows us to measure smaller tools more accurately with a better tool-to-tool -tool repeatability than we were able to achieve with a red laser mm -hmm. system. Seems an obvious question, but what are the benefits of do doing that? Well, with these systems, we can measure a very wide range of tooling. So for some specialist applications mm -hmm. now, customers are asking us to measure tools as small as 30 microns. You can't even see them. And with this new complete range, you can go from 30 microns all the way up to an 800 millimeter cutting tool. It's quite large. So yes, we cover the complete range now of cutting tools. Sounds it. So how easy is it to use uh, for a new user and somebody maybe using a different laser technology? Well it's super easy actually because we have a range of programming applications. For traditional users maybe they're experienced to program using CNC macro and we've got a very comprehensive macro suite. We also have a range of built-in controller HMI applications for Siemens, for Heidenhain and if you want to get really fancy we also have our, excuse me, we also have our leading mobile phone application. You can see the NC4 Plus Blue Generation 2 cycles are built in here. Mm -hmm. So Derek, part of your Industry 4.0 offering, tell us a little bit about it. That's right. So we spoke a bit about how easy it is to program the NC4 Plus Blue Generation 2, but our customers are more interested than ever in sharing data around the shop floor in terms of what their production processes are capable of doing. So this is an example in our reporter app on the, on the Mazak Smooth Control of how we capture the data from the NC4 system, present it in a nice, easy to use way for the operator so that they can see trend charts. And then this data behind the scenes can also be shared out via a variety of industrial standard protocols so that people can collect and monitor that data to monitor their production trends on the shop floor. Talk, talk me through generation two, obviously second generation. Yes. What, what, what does that mean? Okay, so the first thing for us is very obvious. We've, we've extended the range of products that's available so you get additional length. But we took a uh, decision at the time, also we're going to improve the repeatability of the products. So your measurement repeatability is improved now with these ones. The small systems, they can go to 0 0.5 microns. These ones, 0 0.75 mi microns, two sigma repeatability number. Sure. So the uh, system's got more accurate as well. That's incredible, but how have you achieved that? What have you done in, in Gen 2 to make it more accurate? So you will notice mm. there's a small change to this uh, micro hole. It's a different system compared to any other laser that you would have seen. It makes sure that the laser is fully protected even during measurement. So as coolant is flicking off the end of the tool whilst you're measuring, we are still protected to IPX6. And we've done some airflow improvements and some other improvements inside that air cap to make sure that we can improve that repeatability. But that was my next question really. You've got a Mazak machine behind us, but yeah. machine in environment on any machine, it's quite harsh, isn't it? We've got Absolutely. coolant, sometimes we've yes, got oil, we've got lots of swarf. Yeah. So how, how, did he, how are these protected during the machining process? So they're very reliable, of course. We've designed it over, I mean, this is the generation two of our blue system, but Renishaw has had laser systems in the field for a very large number of years now. We're protected through constant airflow through this tiny little hole. Um, that allows us to deflect any drops of coolant, any chips, swarf that are being projected at us, but it still allows us to get that crystal clear beam of light between the transmitter and the receiver. Don't worry, if the air should drop off, there is a passive seal that will move up to block the hole and prevent anything from falling, falling into the laser should the air supply be interrupted. But in general use, these are used lights out machining in some extremely aggressive environments. Mm -hmm. We're super confident in them. Sure, so for, for new adopters, people that don't use um, laser technology, yes. you've just mentioned automation. I think that's key, isn't it? You can go home, your robot can run, but if your end mill might break, 
Yes. You can come in, you, your whole night shift, you could just scrap parts, couldn't yeah. you? Well, there are two major applications. The first one people leap to, obviously, is measuring the length and diameter of their tools. You put the tool in the pocket, you want to make sure you've got the correct tool so you can also identify that it's the right one. But broken tool is critical, and Renishaw's high-speed broken tool cycle, it's an extremely fast way of just checking before I put the tool back in the pocket, is it fit for the next workpiece or not. So Derek, this test piece, it's an interesting piece, isn't it? Can you explain to our viewers what, it, what, what it's demonstrating? Yeah, please? sure. So we already talked about repeatability. 0.5 microns 2 sigma for the small systems, 0.75 microns 2 sigma for the big systems. But what's really critical in production is how that repeatability translates across multiple types of tool, whether they're end mills, ball nose cutters. So on this test piece, this is a special test that's designed to check how accurately a laser system can measure different cutting tools. We've got a complete range of tools on here, starting with a seven millimeter end mill, all the way down to a half a millimeter ball nose cutter. And what you can see on this test, where these black dots are marked, is a complete band of just two microns in accuracy of measurement of those tools. So you're gonna guarantee with this system, no steps in the workpiece and no horrible mismatches that you didn't expect to receive. Again, just finally, you know, we've got a Mazak here on the stand. Clearly, that's a brand new, beautiful machine tool. How about retrofitting all the thousands of uh, machines around the world? Yeah. D can you go back you know, to older machine tools, obviously ones that don't have the app? Yes, that's true. Renishaw's got a good history in making our systems retrofitable. Our NCI interfaces are designed so they'll operate with the minimum number of electrical connections, and we've made a very good success of that over the years. Just finally, engineers watching this video, how do they learn more about this product? Well, you can learn more about it, of course, on renishaw.com by watching MTDCNC.